Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly love reading for April 19th through April 25th for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, so guys, let's go ahead and get shuffled up. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do my Cancers need to hear today, please, Spirit, for April 19th through April 25th, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do my Cancers need to hear, please, for April 19th through April 25th, please, Spirit. All right, my loves. So guys, if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. And um, if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner underneath this video. Um, I do choose multiple winners every month for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry. Um, it's a lot of fun. So be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when I announce the winners, okay? Um, so guys, I am still taking personal readings. I've extended the sale out to May 1st. Um, so the link is below if you would like to book. Please follow the directions on the website. If you do proceed with a booking, um, guys, in the description box below, you'll find my Instagram, my tarot card collection, uh, divine, uh, my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111, which um, I just posted a video about third parties. Um, so you could check that out, okay? And uh, I'm going to be posting more video as of next week. I'm just waiting for equipment to come in, which apparently is not easy to find right now. Like the whole world seems to be out of a web camera. Like I don't know what to tell you. So I have to wait uh, a few days before I get the equipment in. But as of next week, we're going to start focusing on that channel a little bit more. So guys, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message, okay? So Cancer, the energy that I picked up for you guys was... Um, I feel like you're not really ready to take any offers just yet, whether it be someone from your past, an apology, or you're just really not ready to make any offers just yet. And I feel that you are not showing people what you have going on inside. I feel that your life has consisted of a lot of very quick changes and you're still holding on to love and passion for somebody, okay? And I feel cancer that a lot of you want this person to come in and truly fight for you, okay? That is just what you need from this person at this point in time. So we have the Six of Wands, okay? Um, which is energy, an energy of victory, an energy of success. Um, no, no, no. I'm sorry. It's not the Six of Wands. It's the Four of Wands with the Two of Cups underneath it and the Six of Cups. What the hell? So you guys have Twin Flame Soulmate Energy. You've got Past Life Soulmate Energy and the Ace of Coins. No wonder why you guys can't get over this person. Cancer. Holy crap. Yeah, so this is, a, this is a very strong soul tie to this person, Cancer, okay? Um, so, I, and I just felt like you're just not really ready to make any decisions right now, but you can't get over this person. You're not telling anybody this. I don't feel like people would even know that you're going through a hard time with this breakup or um, whatever the case may be, but, you know, maybe your person, maybe you're not even telling this person how strongly you feel or the emotions that you have, um, but I, I get a very strong sense of uh, throat chakra not being opened here okay I mean it's just like you're the, you're not communicating at all how you feel you're not showing people how you feel instead you want this person to fight for you okay so we've got journey here so this could be a spiritual journey that we're on right now um, it could be a twin flame journey definitely with that four of wands and we've got victory okay it's funny that I mentioned victory with the six of wands I thought that was the six of wands so I feel that this is a path that this connection has to take, but it's going to end in somebody being victorious. With the thinking woman, you can't stop thinking about this person. Like you just can't stop thinking about them, but you want them to take action. I feel that you want them to come rushing in. You want them to chase you and you want them to fight for you. And you need this. You need them to chase you. You need them, them to fight for you. Even if you're dying inside and all twisted up, you really need this person to show you um, that they care. 
okay? And that is what would make you happy. So let's see what we have here on this side. So we have the world and the knight of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We have the chariot, Cancerian energy and the three of cups. Five of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. The Judgment Card and the Page of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. All right, guys. So I don't know if this is your energy or your person's energy, but I feel that a karmic cycle is definitely shutting out here. Something new is beginning. So we have this new offer coming in with this Knight of Pentacles. This tells me that there's an offer coming in here. OK, now what I love about this is we have the chariot and the three of cups. So that chariot is all about a soldier getting into that chariot, getting into his tank with um that drive for success you understand you know that chariot doesn't stop until it succeeds and with the three of cups someone here wants reconciliation with the five of cups and the ten of pentacles this person is truly mourning the loss of this connection they're not finding anything like it there's nothing else like your Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is a strong soulmate connection. It's abundance and money, love, energy, just everything, okay? It's like the whole package, all right? You know, like when you're dating, one person might make you laugh, another person may have money, another person may be good in bed. For them, it's like this connection was the whole enchilada. It was everything, you know what I'm saying? It had everything, it was perfect, and they let it go, and they're regretting it. And now they want to come back with that page of wands and the judgment card and ask for a second chance, but they are willing to fight for it. And that's the key, Cancer, because that is what you need to see. You need to see this person fighting for you, okay? Now, here we have on this side the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, and the Ace of Wands. There they are, rushing in. Rushing in. We have the Seven of Wands and the Eight of Cups, okay? But you may... I don't think you're going to block this person, but you're going to make it hard for them. OK, you want to show them that emotionally you are not tied. This is a little cat and mouse game here. Queen of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. You're holding back Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. You're holding back. You don't trust this person or you don't want to show emotion to this person. But I love her eyes in this in this. Uh, you know, she doesn't look mean. She doesn't look like she wants to attack. She's she almost like is it's a challenge in her eyes. How how hard are you gonna fight for me? Do you understand? You know when they say the eyes are the windows to the soul? It's kind of like I'm here and I have this guard up, I have this armor on, but her eyes are saying, Come get me. Do you understand? Male, female doesn't matter. Okay. Male or female, it doesn't matter. We have the Emperor Aries Taurus energy and the Hermit, okay? Uh Virgo energy. So guys, I, I feel that one person is going to, I feel that cancer, this is your energy. I feel like you're very still. You're non-communicating. You're not communicating. You're not showing someone how you feel. You're not, you're holding back completely. You need to see this person really show you that they want you and that they need you in their life. Now, listen, this world card is no joke. This is an indication of let me just show you here, okay? So look at this. On one side of the card, we've got a card. We have fire. We've got stormy weather here, okay? Now we're leaving that behind and we're going to more peaceful waters and growth and recovery over here, right? So this tells me that this person has done some shit, okay? They've hurt you, Cancer, or vice versa. You know, take it as it resonates. But someone here has truly hurt the other person to the point that this person has gone numb. Like they're just like, I'm not going to give anything to this. If you want me, you need to really prove it to me, okay? Now here we have loss and we have victim mentality, okay? Loss and victim mentality. So I feel that this, you know, cancer, you feel the loss of this person and with victim mentality, you cannot keep playing victim in this connection. Like I'm done being the victim, I'm done being victimized, I'm done being hurt by you and even if I have to lose you, 
I will take, you know, I won't say how hard it is for me, but I am done playing victim in this connection. I'm done. You need to show me that you truly want me. Okay. We have the honoring path and conflict. This person has to fight to do the right thing. This person has to fight to do the right thing. Okay. If they want you back, they really need to fight for you. They need to come in swinging and, and, and you know what I'm saying? They really like, I feel that maybe you put a lot of energy into this connection and this person did nothing because we have a 10 of pentacles here and I'm feeling that you provided all of these 10 pentacles. Okay. Now this person is like, okay, you know, now they're not giving anything because see over here, you're holding back all your pentacles. Now you're holding back everything. So they have to come in and really show all that work that they didn't put in before. You're going to make them put in it now. Okay. So here we have for the challenge, the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. What I love here is that we have the Emperor and the Empress. So the challenge here is starting this new beginning what's crossing the situation is the high priestess you're not going to communicate with this person you're not going to oh you're you have this sense of mystery about you you're not you know your intuition is telling you to just be still okay just be still Yeah, that you're just going to be still, you're not going to talk to this person, and you're going to see what they're going to do to make this connection float. So here we have the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Cups, okay? First thing I'm getting here is you don't compare to all these other people. So if you were worried that this person had other options, they're not even remotely a comparison to you, Cancer, number one. Number two, what I'm feeling is, is that this person is confused at this point because they know they love you. They realize their love for you. They really want this second chance with you. They want to, they want to give you this love, but they're actually going... A, crazy because they don't know how to start this new beginning with you okay so let's see let's clarify here I don't know something's telling me not to clarify I know you guys want me to clarify but something tells me that this is the message but I know you guys are gonna want me to clarify Let's just do it. Let's just clarify. Spirit, tell me about the world. Because I know you guys are going to get upset if I don't. Too many cards, please, Spirit. I'll use a different deck. I'm being called to this deck. Spirit, tell me about the world, please. Tell me about the world. We have the Justice card. Okay, so what I get from this Libra energy is that the karmic price has been paid. So something karmic just got paid off here. Okay, this was maybe karmic justice, or maybe this person faced some karmic justice, and that's why they're coming back. Nine of Pentacles, the Hierophant, they're coming in with an offer, Taurus energy, they're coming in with a real offer of stability. Tell me about the chariot. We have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, see, this person needs to come in fighting because the pain that they caused was off the chain. Tell me about the Three of Cups, the Three of Pentacles. They're coming in wanting to lay this solid foundation. Tell me about the Five of Cups. They're rushing in. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, you got that Knight of Swords. Yeah, they're rushing in. They're, they're, their guilt and remorse, they, they're rushing in. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles, the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Energy. They want to go back to being the king or the queen of their castle, okay? Tell me about this Judgment card. The Three of Cups. Yeah, this person wants reconciliation. Tell me about the Page of Wands, the Ten of Wands. Yeah, they, they just want to leave the past in the past. And this is why I, I just knew rec uh, um, uh, clarifying everything was going to come out the same. It's just the message is so clear. But yeah, with that Ten of Wands, they're ready to lay down the burden. They just don't want, they don't want to be separated from you anymore. Um, and if they have to fight, they will fight. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, please, Spirit. The Devil. Okay, um, they're coming in just a little obsessed. <laughs> they're coming in wanting to win with the Ace of Wands. They want their Ten of Cups back. I feel like this person, I feel that devil is a representation of immense passion. You know, they have their eye on the target and they want it. Okay, tell me about that Seven of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Guys, you are fine all by yourselves. You're very independent. You don't need anybody and that's how you're going to come off. 
Tell me about that Eight of Cups, the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. So you're taking all that passion, all that love, all, all, and you're just like not showing it at all. You're coming off as completely emotionally disconnected. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Yeah, Nine of Cups. This is how you're going to get what you want. Tell me about that Four of Pentacles, the Death card, Scorpionic energy. You've changed, and this person sees it. This person sees that, you know, that you've changed tremendously. You're not giving anything. Tell me about the Emperor. The strength card, Leo energy. Yeah, you've you've gained your strength. You've put your your very the wall that you have around you. It's very high and it's very strong. Tell me about the hermit and the hermit. Yeah, you're staying withdrawn. You're staying withdrawn until this person comes to get you, and that's it. Okay, and they're gonna have to fight. Yeah, if they want to come up out of the gold, if they want to win, they're gonna have to fight for it. Okay. This is a very strong twin flame journey. Um, in the extended, maybe we'll do we're gonna we'll do some tarot to clarify if you guys are gonna come together, if there's gonna be reconciliation here, if this person has what it takes to fight to truly get you back. So we'll do a tarot on reconciliation, and then I'm gonna do a, a quick twin flame um uh uh spread because the, I feel very strong twin flame journey here with the four of wands that six of cups past life soulmate two of cups that's insane and that ace of pentacles yeah so I feel that this is definitely for many of you a twin flame journey so we'll do a quick twin flame uh, journey in the extended and then we'll pull a bunch of oracle for uh, clarification okay so guys in the description box below you'll find the link for the extended and it will also be in the comment section I love you guys please stay safe bye